Good morning. Tuesday morning, heading now to the David Citadel in Jerusalem for the PropTech event, the second of three conferences this week. Yesterday was retail, today is property and real estate, and tomorrow is EdTech. It's going to be a fantastic day. Looking forward to bumping to a whole bunch of people. I'm doing a VC panel at noon, interviewing some VCs about trends and challenges in the uh, property tech space. Tonight, heading to Tel Aviv to give a talk to a delegation or a group of very senior executives at Johnson & Johnson. McKinsey brought me. This is the second time I'm doing this. And last time I met Neil Ackerman, who leads innovation globally of the supply chain of Johnson & Johnson. And he has become a very, very good friend and someone I truly love and admire. You know, when McKinsey asks me to come to speak to executives of Johnson & Johnson, I jump at that opportunity. Very pumped to meet them. We'll not be able to bring the camera, obviously, but i um, pretty excited. It's going to be a fantastic day. Here we go. sitting here at a red light waiting uh, to pull into the PropTech event and I just wanted to point out that I'm feeling pretty blessed to have a tech conference here. Look what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's right. I'm at the ancient walls of Jerusalem. Pretty historic times. We have tech events in the ancient walls of Jerusalem. It's pretty awesome. Made it to the David Citadel Hotel in Jerusalem for the PropTech event. Definitely one of my favorite hotels in the country. Big, big fan. Parked in the parking lot. I hope they validate parking. Otherwise, parking's gonna cost me a small fortune today. But whatever, it's, it's worth it. Save the time walking around the city of Jerusalem until I find parking. Anyway, very excited about this event. And now to find the elevators. <music> to someone last night I'm like why do I do these events you know it takes too much time I had to come into Jerusalem and a lot of friends here and it's great but like I was really on the fence whether to come Tamar just changed my mind I walk in I did not expect to see you here which <laughs> I guess is my fault because I guess you're working in the space and I had no idea so first of all who are you hi I'm Tamar Frumkin and the most religious last name ever it's I'm a I'm a little religious one <laughs> Frumkin yes. Frum, Frum means religious in Yiddish anyway what do you do <laughs> how long do we know each other first of all I think we know each other for coming into 10 years yeah something that's, like that's that. pretty wild it's, it's pretty a wild. Really long time Yes. Uh, I'm a big Tamar Frumkin fan. I don't think Halal Food oh, fan, nice. but I'm, I'm part of a big group of people, oh, I think, right? I I'm a big, I, I follow all your Instagram stuff, <laughs> adventures and everything. With Maya Kramer, right? Yeah, there you the go. dancing duo. That's true. You know, I told you, I saw her at a concert. I was like, I was like, oh my God, that's Maya Kramer. I, I didn't walk over. I was like, I was like starstruck, you know, because you see someone online. And you, of course. I mean, it's funny. You should have said hello. What do you do? What's your um, story? I work at Skyline AI, which is an artificial intelligence asset manager for commercial real estate investing. Okay, now dumb that down for someone like me. Like, no idea what you just said. <laughs> so we part partner with real estate players to help them add artificial intelligence throughout the entire investment cycle, from deal sourcing cool. to underwriting, That's asset awesome. management, as well as disposition. What's the website of the company? Skyline.ai. Beautiful. How big is the company? How many people work there? Right now, we're coming close to 30 people. We have Beautiful. offices both in New York and in Tel Aviv. Venture back, VC? Yes, of course. Sequoia Ooh. Capital and Whoa. JLL, Whoa. Uh, Nike. Legit. Yeah. Love it. So, so happy to see Maybe you. Maybe you've heard of Guy Sifori, Iri Amram. Unbelievable. You know these guys. I have heard of them. Unbelievable. <laughs> but we'll, we'll have a, a proper meeting and I'll and you'll film me. Because I don't know anything about this space at all. I'm doing a panel at 12. I'm moderating a VC panel about prop tech. Amazing. Chinese. Yael, how do you not know Tamar? How do you not know Yael? Come, come, come. Yael, come, nice come, to meet come, you. come, come, come. <laughs> I'm not Yael sure you Tamar. Know Yael Tamar. I have not seen Yael Tamar. How long? I haven't seen you in years. How long do we know each other? Many, many years. There you go. Cool, cool dude. I like it. Thank First of all, you two powerhouses Hi, need to know nice each other. To meet you. I'm not sure how you don't know each other. Like, you know when you know two people really well from the ecosystem, you're like shocked they don't know each other? Yeah. I don't know how you two don't know each other. But anyway, what do you do? What are you doing here? Talk to me real quick. I am a CMO of SolidBlock, and we Solid are a real estate-focused alternative investment bank. Love it. You were doing this vegan thing before. I was. Because I have a lot of respect for you, and then that happened, so it went down a little bit, but now we're back up. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. It's good to see you both. I'm going to go yes. get some breakfast and coffee, and uh, awesome. catch you later. Awesome. We're both going to have, all have coffee soon. Yeah, we'll guys soon. Bye. As I said before,
before. I was very on the fence whether to come today. I'll be honest with you. I mean, a lot of my friends are involved in the in the event, but I was like, should I come? Should I not come? But I come in here and I see all the. All right, everybody. I, you're the first face I, I saw when I walked in, so I, I I realized it was a good thing that I came. Who are you? What's your name? I also did not know that I was going to be here. My name is Michael Granoff, founder of Maniv Mobility, venture capital firm investing in mobility. First first question: How many times have you been on the vlog? Three, four. I feel you're like, like a regular. I think people totally. are sick of me already. Anyway, so all right, let's let's start with the. Give me, give me like, who is Mike Granoff in in, in, in 30 seconds? Oh, well, we're doing is investing in... No, no, not we. You. I want to know about you. You're an interesting guy, man. What did you do for the last 20 years? <laughs> Talk about Maniv in a second. You. Who are you? Uh, my, my journey in this direction began actually after 9-11 when I realized uh, living in the U.S. that uh, we were 97% of our transportation system was run by oil and we were importing at that point in the U.S. 70% of our oil and I started an organization in Washington, D.C. that was aimed at ending America's reliance on oil for transportation and that organization is still going strong and has done a tremendous amount. You can look at it at secureenergy.org. Love it. Okay. Next, you came to Israel. What happened next? Well, I, then I got obsessed with electric cars. I had uh, meetings in consecutive weeks. What year was that? 2007. Okay. Before uh, your time, yeah. One was a guy named uh, Shai Gassi. The other was a guy named Elon Musk. I had no doubt who had the better idea. And I spent the next uh, five years uh, blowing a billion dollars, mostly in Israel, on uh, literally infrastructure a billion dollars. for not, not figuratively cars. speaking, literally a billion dollars. Uh, okay, fine, quick, ahead. Maniv, what are you doing today? We're investing in the new era of mobility, the era of digital mobility. And it means self-driving cars, and it means uh, mobility services, it means micro-mobility, which is the bikes, the scooters, mopeds, that we just launched a company in Brooklyn. So we're not only in Israel, though. Not only in Israel, investing globally, but out of Israel, and so far 19 of our 26 companies are based here in Israel. Oh, you know which one I have a crush on, right? Which one do you have a crush on? Oh, Phantom, you have Phantom, Phantom Auto, Phantom which Auto. is our only uh, straddling company that's both in U.S. and Israel. Love Shai Magzimo. All right, man, so if people want to hear more about Maniv Mobility, what's the website? Maniv.com, M-A-N-I-V. You can also look for us on Twitter, on Medium, and all your other... And, and where do people fight my, follow Mike Granoff? What's your, what's your platform of choice? Uh, on Twitter, Mike, J-G-R. I always wondered. Uh, yeah, J is my middle initial, G R ran off. Okay, yep. got it. Alright, always awesome to see you my friend. Let's have a steak soon, yeah? Absolutely. You gotta see our WhatsApp to like just back okay, and forth. We'd like to begin as soon as possible. That was so anticlimactic. I was about to say the punchline. Yeah. Our WhatsApps are like a back and forth of food porn. It's great. Anyway, always good to see you. Have a good day today and we'll catch up soon. Have steak. The US are called mopeds. In Europe, often called Vespas, and other places uh, confusingly called scooters. But um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like somewhere between a bicycle and a motorcycle, two wheels, uh, all electric, uh, very satisfying driving experience. And um, basically, if you're going from point to point within uh, Brooklyn or Queens now, you can take one of these. It's about a third the price of taking a ride hail. Twice in one week, we work labs. Look what they got going on here. We work labs. What's up? What's up? What's up? Ooh. Nice. So, you know, oftentimes people talk about Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. They're like, yeah, Jerusalem's like another whole ecosystem. It's a hot ecosystem. You don't usually, or I don't usually, see the Tel Aviv faces here in Jerusalem. But today, this event, like the whole ecosystem's here. Who are you? I'm Leah. Um, I'm WeWork Labs manager in Tel Aviv and Hazaram. And we're here because we're promoting our new WeWork Labs prop tech arm, which is in partnership with the founder of Canada Israel. Before we talk about WeWork yeah. Labs, you're yeah. like a machine. Yeah. Who are you? How long do we know each other? Talk to me about you a little bit. We Who are you? We go way back. Yeah, um, seriously. We know each other from, I don't know how many years, five years ago, four years ago, something like that. What was your previous? So I was previously working at The Floor, FinTech Hub, right. and then was we decided to take. We did have steak. Yeah. Yeah. We had, uh, I remember, yeah. wait. Goshen. Goshen. Goshen, there you go. All right, cool. Um, and then I decided I wanted to do my own venture, started in the startup fund, in the Love whole it. food space, and now joined the awesome WeWork Labs team to like try and push Forward early stage entrepreneurs. They're like, like we work is swallowing up all the top talent in this country. Yeah. Like everybody knows talent that works at WeWork. Yeah. I just, I feel like I just, I just offended <laughs> half my friends who don't work at WeWork. But anyway, okay. So you work at WeWork Labs. You're managing the thing here. We talked about WeWork Labs the other day. So yeah. now tell me what you're doing here today. Uh, today we're just trying to kind of push out our new prop tech space, which is in partnership with Livestone, uh, which is really focused on trying to help prop tech and real estate construction tech startups push forward with, you know, in the space with peer sees and pilots with top real estate developers. Love it. I have one question for you though. Yeah. One question, one question only. You ready? Yeah. Is Owen always that nice? Yes. 
always. He's the number one. I want him to be my boss. I want. Him, I, I, we're very lucky. He's we're like very lucky. the nicest guy. The in the, and he's like a hot shot. He's not. Like, yeah, we be freaking engineering at WeWork. Like, anyway, yeah. it was cool to meet him. Cool to see you again twice in one nice week. You. you know what happens the third time? What? You buy me ice cream. I will. You know I got that. it. You That's got a thing it. in you Hebrew. Pam shkishit glida. It's a thing. It's a thing. Hey, come over. Come say hi. Want to come say hi? Only if you want. Who are you? Hi, my name is Michal, and we work labs manager in Haifa. Beautiful. How do we know each other? We've known each other for a while, since I was younger. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah. I used to work with my dad. Who's your dad? I said, do you recognize me? I recognize said, you, yeah. but I don't know who your dad is. Jacob, Nair David. Oh, that's right. I, I, I knew I read. Okay, yeah, sorry. All right. It took me a I second like, to hey, connect. How are you? I knew I knew you. I couldn't. I, like, all right. You know, you know that happens. That's happened to you before. Yeah, like, yeah. You know a face. You know you know someone. You don't make the connection. Yeah, it happens. I just talked yeah, to Jacob the other day because I was sitting with Ellie Workman. Yeah. Jacob Nair Levine walked. Work, he, like, he was like my first like real tech like CMO. Like, anyway, I'm a big fan of your dad. Okay, so <laughs> now I made that connection. You are the startup together. Yes. Yeah, yeah but I, I mean, he was the founder, I was CMO of Zula. Yeah. And we had Zcast. All right, yeah. cool. What's so, going on with Zcast now? A topic Long for another story. time. Long story. <laughs> How much okay. time do you have? Wait, uh, okay, so tell me about you. What's your, what's your story? What have you been doing for the past five years, ten years? I don't know. I haven't seen you probably. five years. Yeah. Uh, it's actually exciting to be in Jerusalem because I spent a lot of time in Jerusalem. Cool. Um, actually, before we work, uh, founded a co working space here in Jerusalem really? for uh, nonprofits. Wow. Yeah, nonprofits. Awesome. It's working in the peace industry. Wow, that's, that, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Not at all, not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. so that's what I was doing before Love we it. work, and I was working for um, a nonprofit called Kids for Peace, doing their development, fundraising, uh, working with USAID, and then Super moved cool. over to WeWork. Where, yeah. do you, where do you live, actually? Like, I live in Haifa now. Wow, yeah. that's intense. I'm actually going up north in a couple of weeks, but not to Haifa, to like, like the Kinneret area. There's like a whole so ecosystem over there. Yeah, yeah. So everywhere they, in this country, there's ecosystems. There's, yes, it's there's crazy. lots going on in the north, so... And Anyway, I apologize. I didn't make the, connect the dots. I, again, <laughs> I knew I knew the face, couldn't make the. But uh, it's good to see you, and I'm happy you you're kicking butt over here. Yeah. And now I'm gonna go get coffee. Yeah. Good come to see through you. Haifa. We'll do it. Let's set, up, set up a day and go to Haifa. Yeah. Let's hang out. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward. So we've been in touch for how long now? Since this, since this whole thing was planning? Uh, a couple of months. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Who are you? What's your name? Aviat too forever. This, this is a great. I like it. I like Thank the look. You. It's very, Thank you. Very tone of the uh, scene. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and uh, we founded Public 360 about two years ago getting all of the startup community in Israel, bridging it to the rest of the world, and that's what we are all about. You know what's funny? When I sit with people and I say, let's do an interview, and they see the scary camera, they're like, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? And then I turn the camera on, and you're like a machine. <laughs> Like, if you take, forget it, just take the camera, you do your interviews. I'm... No, 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 no. Okay, wait, really first not. of all, your husband. Yes. Who's your husband? Daniel Farber. Best looking guy here. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the whole ecosystem. Okay, so. Well, I feel like every time I, I, I agree, I agree. Every I agree. time I see him, he's dressed like a million bucks and I look bad and I feel horrible. <laughs> okay, so so what's PropTech? What is this place? What is this event? So, PropTech is basically one of the last industries that really didn't embrace technology yet. Or we're just starting uh, to do so. Our uh, property owners, Managers, um, developers, um, developers, the whole ecosystem. The ecosystem and construction. Here we really see um, tech companies that are really trying to move and shake this last industry that haven't been touched upon so much like other industries. Yep. And that's what we are doing. We're Love bringing it. the owners, operators, managers with VCs and the property community from Israel and Europe mainly. Love it. Let me, now, let me, let me allow me, as a marketing guy, to give you unsolicited feedback and help you dumb that down and simplify that pitch. You ready? Please. Okay. <laughs> you look at every single winner across the board in tech, period. Facebook, Uber, Airbnb, WeWork, and the list goes on. They're all different. They're all different industries, different verticals, different sectors. They all have one thing in common. They're taking an archaic, outdated industry and using technology to disrupt it and make it modern and user-friendly. That's what you're doing. Yes, that's I'm it. trying. I'm trying. But that, but that's it. Um, Construction needs to happen. It needs to happen. It needs to be disrupted. We're old school. Just, I mean, not, not to be a downer on the interview, but just in Israel alone, how many people have died this year in construction sites because of the way things are conducted? Very true. Super old school, right? So yeah, you're not in the life-saving business, but that will be one of the results of using technology instead of like acting like it's 1921. So prop tech is super hot. And you know, yesterday I was at a retail tech event. Today, prop tech, and tomorrow I'm an ed tech. Oh, and nice. And the next week's mobility. Like this country has like all of the sectors. It's like in the next two weeks, it's all summed up in, in conferences. It's crazy. But anyway, bottom line, I'm getting on stage in like an hour, and I'm saying this on camera. So. 
I have no idea what I'm talking about. Nor do I know who the people are that I'm interviewing. Give me, give me some, give me some information here. It's a VC, it's a VC panel. VC panel. Yes. Uh, we have three different VCs from Europe, all um, invest in either pre-seed, seed, or more mature prop tech companies. Cool. All awesome people that you should definitely meet and be on stage with, and I'm sure you're gonna rock it. The built environment, it's something that touches everyone. It's uh, the daycare that you're sending your kids to, it's the universities, it's a workspace, um, it's offices, it's where we live, it's it's a space that we share, parks, everything. So I think this is a, a crucial piece in everyone's life and Love that's it. why it has to be touched um, in, in a much larger scale. It's a very important point because I think of construction, I think like, what do I have to do with construction? But then I'm like, wait a second, I live in a house, I live in, I go to like an office, like everything's construction. It's amazing. So what I can tell already, what time is it right now? It's 10.30 in the morning and the place is bouncing. So you did a very good job on the event and I know many of your team members, all awesome people. So good luck today and uh, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't have taken us this long to, you know, to meet. After this is all over, we'll have a cup of coffee. Awesome. awesome. And I have to add one last thing. One last I thing. have to say that HLC Equity is a big pusher in the Israeli community, which I love because they appreciate and they see the value in connecting these pieces. Why are all these paparazzi around here? Look how many cameras are pointing at us. Right? Look, 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 look. <laughs> I, what is going I, on I, here? I think it's because of you, not no, because what? of me. There's like literally four cameras pointing I, at us. I right think now. it's because of you, what, not because what, of me. What, what, what is going on here? What? What is happening? I don't know. I don't know. They like your shirt. Blouse, right? It's blouse. It it's a shirt. blouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so by the way, are you like from Israel? Are you American? What's your deal? I'm Israeli. Yeah. I did have a very strong. Uh, I'm, I'm an Israeli American actually because I do have a, a green card. Uh, not a green card. I'm actually uh, a passport. I'm allowed oh, to. Oh, look who's here. Get out of here. The man himself. You know him? You know from the plane? Yes. Matt me. Ben Lang's father. What's up? Everything's good. Your son's a legend. Bottom line, good luck today. If anything I can do to help, let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll do this panel. It should be fun. I love it. Thank Thanks. you for joining us. Thank you. Then Yossi Vardy walked in. He's pretty much the godfather of Israeli tech. Legend has it. He came up with a business model for Google. He's just hanging out here like he's a normal person. Tried to get him on camera, but he wasn't playing along. But uh, unbelievable. Look up Dr. Yossi Vardy. Google him. Vardy to join us. Um, I would like him to give also a little brief about himself and then dig into the discussion. Um, this is, um, I can say, the godfather of the tech world in uh, Israel and we are so delighted that he could join us. He made a big effort to be here. Um, so welcome Yossi Vardy, Dr. Yossi Vardy. Uh, really, if you look at the areas where PropTech cuts through other verticals, there is a huge cross-fertilization from architecture to database about real estate, legal situations, prices, trends, to shared spaces, to transportation, to smart cities, to managing a building, and to using general internet services to affect uh, business in the sector, like uh, e-commerce, advertising, etc., etc. We have to understand that PropTech, like any other business sector today, cannot manage, cannot survive without a full suite of services. The most powerful tool on the internet is getting people building a community creating networking, creating reviews, using uh, crowdsourcing. This is the most important thing. If you want to have a good application, you have to think what the users can contribute to the offering. If you are able to do it, and if you do it with attention, then you will create a group of vested people, of interested people, which can be 10,000, 100,000, millions, and if you are lucky, it can be tens of millions. One, I think, the best manifestation to, to this thing is the genius of WeWork. The genius of Adam Neumann was when he created WeWork, Walk, he said, I don't look on these people as tenants, I look on them as community, which is, this is something which everybody is, is saying, but he really meant it and he designed the physical facility 
to meet his vision, you know, in, in every rework facility, you have places where people can meet together, when they can, where they can get together, they operate a big community, I don't know how many people they have now, but it's for the hundreds of thousands, they offer them services, and the most important thing is these people are the best salespeople of, uh, of WeWork. From my experience, which include mainly 30 companies which I closed, this is very important experience, not very pleasant, but but very important, you want to create great applications, so enjoy the conference. I would like to thank the organizers, and see you next year. Avia, Avia, she's also, anybody I spoke with is not here, they went away. They got something which I have to figure what they got. Thank you very much, you are here, really, so come and do your time. Kilo Fold, um, a big blogger, Love the fact that he could join us today. Um, he will be the moderator. Uh, we have Raya. I don't want to say uh, Yulakova. I hope I pronounce it right. Um, for Pylabs um, in the UK. Uh, we have Arnie um, from, uh, he's a partner from Brown Hill Ventures. And we have Ben Lerner. Uh, he's a managing director from Lerner Associates and also uh, work with Concrete. You know what's worse than going on stage right before lunch? Going on stage right before lunch after you'll see party. It's like, what? What have you done? Well, we're talking about money, so that's good. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce all your names. So I'm going to say it's Raya, Arnie, and Ben. Is that okay? I'd love to know how you pronounce your last name, but I'll let you guys do that. So I have a lot of questions for you guys, but we're going to try to stick to PropTech. Talk to me about the trends. The trends that you're seeing today in your kind of day-to-day, -day, um, because you know, I, I like to say that every winner, right, in today's kind of tech world is, is a company that took a, an archaic industry and disrupted it, right? No matter who you're talking about, Uber, Airbnb, Facebook, WeWork, and on and on. Um, and so prop tech and real estate in general is obviously ripe, being, waited, it's being disrupted, but it's early, early days, I believe. So tell me what, you're, what you think about that. Okay, so um, just talking at high level, rather than some of the trends in the particular products or tech that we're seeing, um, but from my perspective, where I get involved with some of the later stage companies, um, the trend now is, is pretty much an optimal time um, to be getting into to what I do. When we look at Israel as a technology superpower, traditionally, you know, decades ago, we had the cyber thing going for us, right? Because of the military. That's kind of like a given. But then, now I think, uh, Yossi already spoke about it, all of a sudden we have this diversity where there's pretty much not any component, any vertical, or any sector of technology in which Israel's not, maybe not number one in the world, but top three for sure. And truth be told, I, you know, this is not my, I didn't even realize it. You know, you're seeing so much tech in the construction and the prop tech space from Israel, which is fascinating to me. There's, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but in Israel, in the construction world, like, I, I, I turn on the news every day and I hear construction workers are dying on these construction sites and I, it's like safety. Uh, you know, is that something that you guys see technology disrupting the safety element of construction and prop tech in general? Or have you seen anything on that front? Uh, so we definitely see um, health and safety. So when we talk about some of the software advances in construction, uh, some of it is workflow, some of it is management efficiencies, some of it is uh, safety as well. Uh, certainly within uh, concrete uh, portfolio, there is uh, a company that focuses on uh, safety within construction. Um, there's there's uh, a company here in Israel as well that I'm aware of that's uh, actually focusing on safety within construction sites to do with cranes at heights and things like that. So yeah, absolutely, safety is is, is Safety combined with efficiency is actually a winning formula, but safety in itself is, is definitely something that's coming through. Um, I, just, I, I would like to just ask one last question. Who here is an entrepreneur? Raise your hand. Oh, a lot of entrepreneurs. And on the investment side, finance side, raise your hand. All right, mostly entrepreneurs. That's, that means this question is very relevant. Just real quick, because again, we're out of time, but what do you look for? Right? I'm, a, I'm a prop tech entrepreneur. I come to your office. What, what are you looking for? What, what, are, the, what are some of the keywords you're looking for? What are some of the visions and things that you're looking out for? So uh, again, I'll have a, a different view on here because most of my time is spent at a later stage. Venture capital folks will certainly absolutely look at the founders. Um, at the later stage, it's about the management team, so strong management. Um, again, on when you get to M&A stage and the exit stage, um, recurring revenues, uh, decent gross margins, uh, those kind of things are really, really important uh, when you're looking at growth funding and uh, exit. So strong management, strong numbers, uh, those things don't go away. Uh, probably to add to that is, kind of realistic pathways and scalability. 
um, and also either some sort of IP mode or some kind of financing mode so there's enough space between you and your competition. I think from our um, perspective, because we're so early and sometimes the product isn't that clear, uh, the two main things we look at are market potential, so we're looking at a massive market that um, people can scale, um, ideally increasing uh, market in size, and we also take a very good look at the founders, so we look at uh, tenacious people with the with the capability to persevere through all the, uh, the hardships of entrepreneurship, and um, I think honesty and integrity in founders is incredibly important. When I'm asked to moderate a panel, I have one criteria before I say yes. I have to make sure I'm the dumbest, the most le least intelligent person on stage. So I thank you for that opportunity, and uh, thank you very much, guys. Let's take a nice selfie together in front of the crowd. What do you think? You, you did do a panel in 2018. We had a selfie. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this is my first PropTech event. Walked in, I was actually very surprised. I got here super early, and I figured I'd be the first person here. Not the case. It's tons of people. and. Really high level people here. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Tons of big investors and people that I know from the ecosystem here in Jerusalem. It's pretty amazing. And tell me a bit about the prop tech industry. Like, how, how do you perceive the prop tech industry? So it's a little bit off show of the main high tech, so. Full disclosure, before today, I wasn't that familiar, right? In other words, I knew of prop tech, but I'm a tech guy. And so I meet a lot of startups, meet a lot of VCs throughout the day. And I heard of prop tech, but I wasn't really deeply involved. But I came here and, like, Again, the, the content here, the people, the entrepreneurs, the investors from around the world, I mean, it's yet another blowing up uh, ecosystem and landscape of companies. By the way, both here in Israel and abroad, clearly the next big thing. It's very exciting. So I walk in here and I see people like Mike Granoff who's investing in the future of mobility, right? I see people that are literally on all kind of components of the ecosystem here in Jerusalem, which in and of itself is interesting. The whole WeWork team is here. Uh, and so that's fascinating. And there's really high level of people at this conference. And also the, the, the actual panels, the, con, you know, the, the content, the speakers, phenomenal and fascinating. So, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. Microphone? Yeah. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I had to leave the conference early, home now, doing a live LinkedIn video interview with Yoel Israel. So, LinkedIn Live is a new thing. He's one of the first beta testers, and he is doing a bringing in a guest kind of session and interviewing about marketing. In other news, I freaking love our new car. <music> a beast. Tonight, J&J, &J, Johnson Johnson in Tel Aviv. No camera allowed. On that note, see you tomorrow at EdTech.